Now that we have a couple variables defined, to reference them, it's going to be very similar to the absolute reference that we saw earlier. If I click on any cell within the same worksheet and I go equals, instead of clicking on the actual cell that I want to reference, I instead type in the actual variable name, which is width. Now I'm using a lowercase letter even though the variable is declared with an uppercase letter, but the good thing is it's not case sensitive. So I typed in equals width and I have to do that when using variables because it's evaluating what comes after it. If I reference a variable I have to say equals that variable name so it knows to go and grab that value and then return it. Now if I come up to the variable and I change it from 18 to 16, it automatically changes where I have referenced width. If I go to another worksheet, I can do the same thing. I can say equals width. And it doesn't matter what worksheet I go to within this workbook, I can always reference that variable simply by typing in its name. Now we saw earlier with our referencing if we wanted to reference a different cell on another worksheet, we have to specify the worksheet that it's in. Whereas with the variable, that's no longer needed, which makes things a little bit easier. To show you that it is an absolute reference, if I drag this down, it's always going to be 16 because it is always referencing the variable width. Now to show you what happens if we type in a space, we get equals var1 it's going to give me an error because a space is an illegal character. So if I change that space to an underscore just like it did when we created it or defined it all of a sudden it's going to reference that value. I'm not going to get that error anymore. Just like in the cell referencing we saw how we can reference it in the same workbook we can also reference it in other workbooks. And in microvellum, if we want to reference the global variable, all we have to do is do equals g exclamation mark and then the variable name. If we wanted to do it in Excel, we would have to go equals, then we'd have to tell you the location where that workbook is, and then the variable name. So there's just a one more step that we have to do in Excel that we wouldn't have to do in microvellum.